Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Before I return back to Rorik's dead to get my assignments, I wanted to come back here, here, Brand, and talk to you for a bit. I'm hello, having a bit of hesitation with this uh, undercover operation that you have me on. So, if we could talk for a moment, hello. So, where are my stuff? I placed all your belongings into the chest next to the shrine. All right. I just wanted to make sure that that was mine. I needed to take a few coins, gold coins, out of there. And the, uh, the Grail of Bethany, which no Breton should be without. So tell me more about the Agents of Righteous Might. Back when Nerdius and I were Vigilants of Stendar, we created a new order to destroy our enemies in alternative way. For decades we fought with limited resource and manpower. Most effective way to fight the enemy was from the inside of their cult. An, an Agent of Righteous Might has to infiltrate the targeting cult, become one of them, and gain their trust. It is an agent's sacred duty to assassinate, sabotage, feed false information, and do whatever is necessary to bring down the cult. All right. Those are tall orders. You know, I'm more of a warrior and a soldier than I just like to smash the cult to pieces from the outside in. But I will attempt to do it your way. So tell me about losing faith. Back when Agents of Righteous Might was founded, there were five of us. You've already met Nirtius the Faithful, Snadmon the Skullcrusher, and Clagus the Crimson Blade, Gabin the Shadowstep, and myself. Pardon my arrogance, but I am certain that we were the most lethal infiltrators in Tamriel at the time. <laughs> The memory of sabotaging werewolf lairs and witch caverns, backstabbing necromancer cults are still vivid in my mind. <sighs> Twelve years ago, we had an incident. What incident? We've located a Daedric cult, the remnant of Mythic Dawn. This is the very same cult that Nirtius has been talking about. Yes, I've met them. Gabin and Snadman had gone to discover while the Clagus and I were camping near the entrance. Nirtis was away at the time, I don't remember why. On a grim night, Gabin ran to me and insisted me to quickly gather a squad for ambush because Remnant Leader is walking alone under the moonlight. Without a doubt, I gathered as many Vigil Brothers as I could and stormed into the location. However, I soon realized I was being naive. When our squad reached the coordinates, the Remnant Leader was indeed there, except he wasn't alone. Mm, a trap, it sounds like. The Remnants ambushed us and mm. slaughtered us. Mm. If Snadman didn't drag me out of there, I shudder at the thought of what might have happened to me. Gabin was the most powerful servant of Stendar. I cannot believe how he could turn his back on us and on Stendar. Since then, I've quit working as an agent and become a priest. Near- Hmm. I can understand that. I had a crisis of faith after I lost a member of our vigilant group among the hist. So what happened to Clagius? May Stendar have pity on his soul. On that treacherous night, he fought bravely and fell in battle. And what happened to Snadmund? Nerdius never speaks about his agents. The fact that Nerdius rarely speaks about him is good enough for me to assume he's still working with Nerdius. Hmm. Okay. And what happened to Gavin? Nerdius doesn't tolerate traitors. He already sent agents after him. I believe Gavin met a gruesome yet justifying death. 
or not. Alright, so why won't... How come you don't want to help Nertius? Strong, both physically and mentally. If I work as an agent any longer, I will lose myself. Hmm. Is there any way you can help me with my current mission? I will pray for your soul when you depart. I suppose I couldn't ask for more. All right, then. I think that's all. Until next time. Yes. Good. Goodbye. All right. I believe you have strengthened my resolve. I will continue with this infiltration mission. All right, then. It's time for me to get to Rorikstead. That was a long huh? and tiring trip. If you've got some business in Rorikstead, you should start by speaking to Juan. Huh? Thank you. Do yourself a favor and don't have children. They're good for nothing at all. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Hmm? How can I assist? Hmm? see what we have here. Ah, oh, gold. Right on time. All I have is 638 gold after relinquishing my fortune to the chest there at the temple or shrine of Stendar. All right, let's read this mission. Sir Knight, I hope all is well and you are walking among the remnants as of now. Our agents have turned in their reports from Markarth. According to what they wrote, the remnants made a deal with one of the mine owners and they are shipping cart full of silvers to their secret hideout. My agents were able to dig some information out of some miners. It turns out the remnant secured a smith who can forge Daedric weapons out of silver metal. From my standing point, this operation must be stopped at all cost. The silver mines near Markarth are all heavily guarded, and we are short in number, as you know. I want you to find out who the smith is and kill him as soon as possible. Then I need to find and assassinate the smith who's making these Daedric weapons. Alright, so I'm going to sp go and speak with Elanu or someone in the smithing room. Ah, there's my roommate sleeping. I would say I should do the same, but I might wake up and she'll be gone. Helenu. I'm sorry to disturb your slumber. I, <laughs> there you are. I wanted to ask about the weapons forged here. They, they have a very good quality. I know. Isn't it amazing? Urzob has been producing all the weapons and armors for the family. And who is Urzob? Oh, you wouldn't know. She may be the most gifted smith in the entirety of Tamriel. She can produce ebony ingots out of silver ores. Really? You probably wouldn't see her, though. She's locked herself up in her smithing room, and only Uncle Fidev has the key to get in. I see. Tell me about Fidev. Uncle Fidev is a really nice guy. Once you get to know him, that is. He is in charge of all events occurring inside of the family. And tell me about Vaden. Well, my father is really secretive most of the time. I mean, he's in charge of all the classified missions for the family. All right, then. See you soon. Yes, enjoy your sleep. All right, I need to get to the smithing room. 
at this. They still don't trust me. Stealing. In my own room. This is considered stealing. Did I... Mythic Dawn chest. What's here? I probably should take a set of these robes. Once I feel that they've accepted me fully. We know stealing is frowned upon here. There, it only took me an hour to find the smithing room. Hmm? Yes, hello. There's someone here I'm supposed to talk to. Yes? I don't think it's you. That man's name, Garkal. He's probably asleep somewhere, but it looks like I can enter in here. is permissible when going on missions. Look at this, iron armor. Alright, I'm just gonna wait around for Fadave. Not Fadave, but Garkal to show up. Presumably, Urzob is hidden away. I have work to do. Please speak quickly. All right, then. I'm from the stock room. How many ebony ingots do you need? Ebony ingots? Oh, you must be the new guy. We don't need any ebony ingots. urzob has been producing Daedric items purely with silver ingots. Really? Unbelievable, huh? Yes, very much. We are much. lucky to have such a skilled smith among us. 
All right then, can I use the smelter? There's only one smelter in this entire smithing ground, and the master assigned it to Urzab. Only she can use it. I see. All right then. See you next time. Yes, thank you, Gok Hall. <clears throat> Okay, so I can hide inside the chest. What? Ah, oh, she brought the chest inside the room by passing the door. Better not set anything on fire. How was that? Dawn. Robes and a ring of extreme block. Mm, silver ore. Well, since I'm here, and I asked, I might as well use the smelter. seems suspicious, but these... wait. He's looking at me. Alright, he's gone back to his work. Yes? Yes, hello. Oh, I feel like I've been caught red-handed. Alright. Let's see what's next here. I need to complete my mission report. Yes? Oh, I thought you were hella new, but you're too tall. All right, I found my way back. Again to the dormitory. Miracles are unfolding. All right, let's activate the journal. And we have our mission report. Now I need to get back to Rorikstead and file my report in the drop box. All right, after two okay, hours hmm? of wandering those catacombs, I finally found my way out and here, back to Rorikstead to file my report. Here. What does this say? Oh, that's not it. Oh, here's my mission report. The smith is dead. Okay, I can leave Rorik's dead now. And come back in a few days. Hi. All right, I'm back Need a ride? after two days. Spent the time in White Run relaxing. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. 
Thank you. Hmm? Yeah? Need something? Yes. Need a meal or room. I've got both. Alright, let's see what they've got for me. Ah, some gold. Certainly use that. Recommendation. Sir Knight, I am reassured to know that the Remnants won't be producing massive amount of deadly weapons at least for a while. Since a murder has taken place after your joining, someone might feel suspicious about you. You will blend into the flock much easier if you gain the trust of the Mythic Dawn Elders. Uh, that doesn't sound like it will be easy, but let's see what we can do. This one needs something? This Either. better be good. Alright, it's time for me to head back to the the caverns and find Dalamus. Dalamus. Speak. Sir, is there anything else I can do to contribute? To the family. Acolyte, every disciple of dawn has his or her moment eventually. But since you are asking this now, there is something you can do. It has been my personal goal to get my hands on one of Lord Dagon's relics. The rumor has it that there is a razor blessed by Lord Dagon himself. Due to my role here, I am unable to travel across Skyrim in its search. If you can find and bring such a relic to me, you will earn my eternal gratitude. All right, very well. I will find the razor for you. Splendid. Ah, by the way, I am sending Helano to the island north of Winterhold to retrieve the last copy of Xerxes. Tell her to come to Varden's office immediately. I am sure she will be excited to hear the news. Hmm. As are we all. All right then. I will be on my way. Dalamus. All right. I made it back to my quarters. Let's go ahead and write in my journal. So I have that to drop off. And I also need to speak to the librarian, I believe. Let me make sure. Alright, let's find the librarian. Alright. Found him. Yes? Savanuni. Have you found what you were looking for? Well, the the master has asked me to get the relic of Lord Dagon. I guess the master's still obsessed with the relic. Still obsessed? Every year when the new recruit becomes a logistic, the master asks him or her to find a relic that represents the mythic dawn. The razor or Cameron's staff. Those artifacts wouldn't likely come into our hands unless you were chosen by Lord Dagon himself. Cameron's staff. Dalamus never mentioned it. Yes, apparently it's something the Master would accept instead of the Razor. Back when Mankar Camwin was vanquished by the hero of Cyrodiil, his staff was looted right before the Paradise collapsed. 
For years, the staff must have changed its owner. We really don't know where such a relic could be located. Alright, well I appreciate it. May I get a skill book? Here you are. Read it and put it back in the shelf when you're done. Thank you. See you then. I wonder what shelf he means. This one. day. Alright, from here, I believe I need to get back to Rorikstead. The thought occurred to me, rather than get a forgery of Merun's razor, why not come here to the Dragonborn Gallery? I believe we have it on huh? display. Oh, sorry. Low on gold, is there any more? Still low, but we'll see. Or maybe it's not on display. Wonder what I did with it. remember. All right, well, <laughs> so much for that. Oh, it might be, um, in the exhibit hall. Yes, the Daedric Gallery. Let's just check this. Oh, I use gold brand. And the ebony blade. Safe. Here it is. Merun's razor. Alright, so this is the real one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Back in Brorikstead. Oh, did you need something? Hmm? Yes. So I made a few stops to get the real Merun's razor and to get some gold yes. so that I could possibly purchase this replica from Mada Madato. Yes. Yes. Do you sell anything unique? Something special? Madato does have a collection of rare artifacts. Marato, however, does not know if the artifacts are real or replica. Interested? Yes, very well. I'm looking for Maroon's razor. Do you have it? Marato does have it for trade. And Marato is an honest businessman. I will take no less than 12,000 gold for it. <laughs> 12,000, really? Can you do any lower? Twelve thousand is too steep. Uh, this is the last time Maracho gives a discount. Maracho offers the razor for 9,900 gold and is now losing profit. Really? Do you right. remember our deal? Yes, I came back for the razor. Here is 99,000 gold. Now... 9,900 gold, actually. Now it's time for your side of the bargain. And here is your item. Marit will remind you that there can be no refunds. Alright, so I should have two Maroon's razors. What else do you have for sale? Everything Marit has is for sale. Take a look. Battle 
Relics of Abaddon. Lots of Daedric weapons, I like that. Powerful. All right, then, that will do. Good hunting. Thank you. All right, let me check my notes. Eek. Cameron's staff. I'm not sure where I would find that. Well, while I'm the here, warm. I might as well drop off this message at the drop box. Yes, this urgent message. Remnants are retrieving the last copy of Xoxes from the island north of Winterhold. Okay. All right. Now I need to go back and find <coughs> Helenu. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But first, I think I might look around for this Cameron's staff. 